and welcome to this Total Tutorials. In this Total Tutorials, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own custom layout for your Facebook profile. Now, this website is called PageRage.com, and if you go to PageRage, you can browse, uh, you can browse pre-made layouts, or you can create your own. Creating your own, I think, is better, so that way you can express your uh, creativity. But you can go ahead and select a uh, layout if you want. It's no big deal. Um, so let's go to create your own layout up top here. Alright. So the first thing you'll come to is select a color. Now what this is, is it selects a color for your background, your title bar, your left curtain, your right curtain, you can make them all different colors if you want. But we're not going to do that. So, I'm going to check all these. Alright, so, you can select a color if you want, but I'm not going to select a color. So the next thing you want to do is hit next step after you select your color. Alright, so this we're going to upload a custom image. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit load. And then you're going to select an image you want from your documents. I'm going to do the Metallica logo. Alright. And now, you can select different uh, places for your image to appear or not appear. Alright. The only thing I'm going to have a different color is the title bar. Because um, if you uncheck the left curtain, then it's gonna um, it's gonna mess it up. So, um, and then the background has to be checked, otherwise the image won't appear at all. All right. So the title bar. And if you feel that something needs to be changed, all you have to do is hit previous step and select what you want to be changed. All right. And then you want to hit next step again. And you can also add transparency to your background. That way it kind of um, fades or whatever. Um, title at tile X is up and down. Tile Y is er, no tile Y is up and down. Title at tile X is across. So um, if you uncheck one of them, it will change it and it won't look right. So um, then you hit next step. And then I want to select a text color. Uh, the text color is basically everything that people write on your wall, all your notifications on your wall, your friends, um, your name, different things like that. So I'm gonna select. Um, I'm gonna select black, kind of a neutral color. All right, you wanna hit next step, and now you wanna hit finishing touches. Um, I think we can uh, select a profile transparency. Um, it only works in Firefox, but um, it's basically the transparency of the center, like all your notifications and stuff like that. So that ch changes that. Um, then layout preferences. If you're logged into Facebook right at that moment, you can select use as current layout, and then you can, um, you know. Or if you don't want it, you can just uncheck it. I'm going to use it as my profile layout. Then you want to hit save and publish. Next, you want to give it a layout name. I'm going to name mine Metallica Mania. Then you want to select the category. Okay, so there's abstract angels, different things. You think of which one would be best for your layout. I'm going to select music. Then you want to select keywords, or as some of you may know them as tags. Um, they give you examples. So, like if you're making a uh, profile layout about Twilight. Yeah, Twilight, Vampires, Bella. Um, since I'm making this about Metallica, I'm gonna put Metallica, Metal, Headbang, um, Kirk Hammett. You can add different, uh, tags. The more tags, the more the more tags you add, the more chance of someone's gonna come across your profile layout. Alright, and then the description. What is it about? So people will know what it's about. Um, 
uh, perfect for the headband metal lover. Alright, and then you want to hit done. And then it's going to save. It's going to take a minute. At least that's what it says right here. And then it'll show you your layout. And then it'll be also available for other people that have Facebook to get it. Alright, and then if you want it, you just select get this layout. And then you can select if it's a profile only or all your pages, and then select this layout. And it says success, layout has been applied. And this was how to create your own custom Facebook layout. Mm -hmm.